Are You Gonna Go My Way by Lenny Kravis. This riff takes a lot of strength and dexterity of the first finger, a lot of control. Bend down at second fret of the third string, unbend, and a flick off. Bend me down, thumbs locked on top to enable us to do that, unbend, and flick off. Yes, it is tough for the first finger and I highly recommend thinner strings for most beginners taking on a song such as this with a lot of string bending especially down at the nut which is uh, this lower part of the neck here. Most electric guitars come with gauge 10 strings on which means the thickness of the thinnest string is gauge 10 and I highly recommend either getting 9s or even 8s um, put on your guitar. It will certainly make it easier to play and allow you to uh, build your strength gradually and really get a feel for these kind of subtle bends. So we've got those three notes all on one string, all picked only once. One is a bend, unbent, flick off. It's a flick off down. And then we're straight to the first finger. If you find your middle finger is stronger and you prefer doing it with your middle, go for it. You can even support the bend with the middle with the first finger as well. Then we go to string six and then open and two on string four. Finish off, third and little finger or a barred third finger at the third fret on the thinnest and on string one and two, thinnest two strings. And then we basically play the same riff but 12 frets higher up. This means using different fingers and a different bending technique, but it goes like this. Bend in again, unbend, lick off to the first finger, and then most of the time, I would just hammer it on. I would just four notes with only picking once. This is a 14th fret and 12th fret, essentially using notes of the E minor pentatonic scale that was starting from the year 12th fret. Tricky's bit, so the thumb has to be over the top, supporting that bend, unbend, flick off, the first finger's got to be down already for this flick off to work. Hammer on with the third finger, and then make those last three notes really short. And then both those parts uh, move three frets higher um, for So Tell Me Why. So this is in a G position from fifth and third fret. And you're essentially playing the one from up here down there. And then we do the same at 15th fret and 17th fret. Just remember, from the double dot, the fretboard just repeats. <laughs> then we 
then this little riff. That's five down to two. And then back to three. In context. Chorus is middle finger and third finger on string, middle fingers at string two, fret three, third finger, string three, fret four, just play them together. And then it's to an A chord, but just playing again string two and three. So what I really want to know is, and then it's a bar chord at seventh, seventh fret, this is an E bar chord. That is uh, E to D. That was down to 5th fret and then up to 10th fret. So E, 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 D, E. E, 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 G. E. Same thing again. And then the whole song would cycle again. One more. And then the whole song would cycle again. So one last time through that chorus. Two, three, four. But what I really want to know is... How are you going to go my way? And I got to, got to know. I'll be teaching the solo and this section. I'll be teaching all of that in another video that will be coming really soon. If there's anything that you struggle here with the string bending and lead guitar techniques, check out my new lead guitar course. Links are on the screen now. Part two of this video is coming real soon. I will see you there.